Once the weave has been determined, the design can be entered into the computer. A technical design is developed and is composed of the elements the weaver uses to construct the fabric. These three fundamental elements are the weave design, the draw-in draft, and the chain plan. The drawing-in draft is typically shown at the top of a weave sheet. It determines the order in which the warp yarns are drawn through the harnesses. Used by the drawing-in operator, it ensures proper alignment of the warp yarns for the desired pattern. Drawing in is a time-consuming and costly process. When designing fabrics, it is always more cost-effective for mills to change the chain or cam plan while using the existing drawing in draft and warp end count. The chain plan or peg plan tells the machine when the individual harnesses will be raised. This is typically shown parallel to the weave design. The weave is the result of combining the peg plan and the draw. Changes in either the chain or the draw result in a change in the overall weave design. The center of the weave sheet shows the weave design. This demonstrates the interaction between the warp and the weft, with the black or red boxes showing where the warp is over the filling, and the white boxes showing where the filling is over the warp. The next step is to determine the construction of the fabric. This refers to the number of ends and picks within a square inch of the fabric. To create a dense fabric, you would want a large number of ends and picks per inch. To create a more sheer fabric, you would want to have a small number of ends and picks per inch. The construction is also dependent on yarn size. For a fabric made of fine yarn, there will need to be a higher end and pick count to achieve the desired coverage whereas a coarser yarn would require fewer ends and picks to achieve the same degree of cover. The next step is to define the yarns in the weave. Yarns can be chosen from the yarn library of the computer program and then adjusted to best match the actual yarns that will be used. Many different types of yarn can be selected, from a basic cotton yarn, to a cotton plied yarn, to a boucle yarn, to a chenille yarn, to a space dyed, or a slub yarn. Once the yarn is selected, the yarn size is defined, along with the color and the twist multiple. Once the yarns are defined, they are assigned to the weave. The pattern repeat is determined and laid out along the warp and the weft. Once the weave, construction, and yarns are defined, the fabric is ready to be simulated. The computer takes the weave, construction, and yarn information and translates it into an image resembling the woven fabric. This is a preview of what the real woven fabric will look like. Adjustments to the weave or to the yarns can be made at this time before the design is transferred to the loom. Once the information has been entered and the simulation has been approved, the file can be sent electronically to the loom. Once the project reaches the weave room, a sample called a head end or strike off is woven. Usually a few yards are woven and sent back to the designer to approve or make any final adjustments. Once the head end is approved, the fabric is woven.